So what do you do if you're in a big rush? You know that you should be eating healthy. You want to stay productive. You want to stay focused. And we all know the answer is, well, you should probably food prep and get all this stuff ready, you know, a week ahead of time or food prep for 30 days. Now, if you're normal like me, you probably aren't doing that. If you can, that's great. I'm not saying it's wrong or there's anything bad with food prep, but a lot of times I just don't have the time, the energy or whatever to actually go through and do that. But I do want to find quick ways and use quick ways to stay healthy and to eat good food, um, not only so that I can be productive and stay focused, but also because I enjoy eating it and I want those other benefits. So what I want to talk about today is three ways that you can get these benefits without having to go through a ton of work. It might involve building a habit. It might involve trying something new and a little bit of planning. Uh, but I think that these will work better than just trying to make yourself a massive food prepper. So let's jump into it. Okay, number one, have a few meals that can be your go-to that you can make quickly and with one pot or one pan. If you do a quick search, you can find tons of YouTube videos, articles, tons of good stuff about uh, you know 15 minute recipe, five minute recipes, eight minute recipe, whatever you want. But I'll give you a few examples um, that I have written down here. So uh, soup with extra chopped veggies and maybe drop an egg in for protein. This is stuff I've done before. This one I write up because it's very simple and depending on where you're at, you may make your own soup, your own stock, whatever you do, or you may just grab that can and have some cans in the shelf where you can go to have that. Yeah, it might be a little high in sodium, but it's better than maybe going out and grabbing a fast food burger, doing something else. Maybe chop up some veggies, some celery, some carrots, add that stuff in there, or have it on the side, and that can work in a pinch. Okay, so let's now move up the list a little bit. A little bit more uh, work, but might be something you want, something warm, an omelet, right? You can saute some veggies, chop them up, toss them in the pan, saute them, maybe a little bit of olive oil, and then just whip up some eggs, maybe a little bit of cheese, combine it, and there you go. That's seriously a 10-minute meal, very healthy, a lot of protein, good stuff for you. Uh, another one that you can do in the oven that I actually like is salmon and asparagus or broccoli. Salmon takes about 20, 22 minutes to cook in the oven at about 400 degrees. Um, and you can put in the asparagus or broccoli. If it's broccoli, it's about the same time on the cook time. Uh, toss it with a little olive oil, some salt, pepper, whatever you like on that. Um, or asparagus is a little quicker, about 10 minutes. You can put it in after that. And that's you know an under 30 minute meal, super healthy, great for you. If you like salmon and uh, veggies, then that is the way to go. Just wanted to give you some examples um, of some go-to meals you can do with one pot, one pan, um, and minimal prep and pretty easy cleanup. Okay, so that's the first way. Now let's go on to the second. So looking at the notes here, it is to, oh right, to set a reminder to go shopping or get groceries delivered before the week starts. This to me is kind of like the smaller version of food prep, uh, but this has helped me so much because I would wake up on Monday, you know, be busy on the weekend, goofing off, going, traveling, doing whatever, working around the house, and then Monday hits and it's like, oh, now I need uh, to go get food. I need this. It's like, no, you don't need it on Monday. You need it before the week starts. So before your week starts, set yourself a reminder and use something that will get your attention. Um, this could be Google ca Calendar. You can have a pop-up reminder. You could have an uh, email reminder. You could have multiple if you need it. Uh, but to remind you to go out or to get it delivered if that's something you use, something like Instacart. Um, and uh, the only thing I will say is do something realistic. If you're terrible about going shopping, try one of these services and know that you're paying the extra price, but you're going to be healthier. You're going to have the healthy food so that you, maybe you're not snacking on the bad stuff or, um, you know, door dashing or going out for fast food. Um, and the other thing you could use is your task manager that maybe you're already using something like Todoist, uh, click up, but make sure it's something that will get your attention, um, that you don't have silenced and just set this for a time where you're likely to follow through. Um, you know, if you know that uh, sat Sunday afternoons you're out with friends and you traditionally are doing a lot of stuff, then maybe that's not the best time to do that. So just set that at a good time and uh, make sure that works for you. Okay, the third thing that you can do to make sure you eat healthy and stay productive is to look at the days or times, right, where you've typically had an issue and food prep or have something very simple you can grab and go for those times. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that. For me, it's lunch. Um, lunch is not difficult. I enjoy taking a break. I don't work through a lunch, but I typically give myself about 30 minutes and I don't wanna spend 40 minutes or all of my 30 minutes prepping, cooking, cleaning up, but I also don't really wanna food prep and deal with you know creating a bunch of lunches all at once. 
So years ago, what I started doing was making a, a veggie and fruit smoothie, and it takes me six minutes. So I make it every day, but it takes me six minutes, and I just make sure that I have what I need for the week. I put in bananas, I put in some frozen fruit, I put in kale, spinach, some other stuff, put it into a blender, boom, there you go, super healthy. I enjoy it, it tastes good, and it's quick to make, it's easy to clean up, uh, and it, you know, I'm done in probably 10 minutes. So find something like that. It may not be a fruit and veggie smoothie for you. Maybe it's a sandwich. Um, maybe you know it's the soup idea. Maybe it's something else. But having that go-to for those times when you know that you generally um, are prone to either uh, not having the time, skipping it, or doing something unhealthy, just planning ahead for that can really, really help you. So hopefully you can put at least one of these ideas to work and uh, find some ways to eat healthier and to stay productive. If you've got uh, recipes or ideas or anything like that that you would like to add, please just leave a comment. would love to hear uh, what you do for this as well. All right. Hopefully this is helpful. Have a good one.